Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question, find the difference. So you are given two strings S and T. String S is generated by random shuffling string S and uh, then add, add one more letter at a random position. Return the letter that was added to T. So let's see the example. So S is A, B, C, D. T is A, B, C, D, E. Output is E because E is a letter that was added. So let's see the example two. So S is an empty string and the t is y, so that's why output is y in this case. Okay, so actually uh, there are a lot of ways to solve this question, but uh, uh, in reality, I mean in real interview, I think uh, we can use this uh, approach. So let me explain how we think about a solution. And uh, so s equal a, b, c, d, and t equal a, b, c, d, e. So since t is plus one longer than s, so it seems like we can use uh, like a subtraction, but the problem is T is like a shuffled S plus one character, right? Uh, in this case, um, this is a, like a sorted character, but the uh, uh, description said, um, so T is a shuffled S and a plus one uh, character. So um, at first, uh, we, uh, I thought uh, I need to like count both strings but I realized that I only count the number of characters in string T and I keep a hash map like this. And uh, because that T is uh, longer than S, so all we have to do is after counting T is to just subtract each character of S from a uh, result of T. So let's see how it works. And uh, this is a result after counting um, each character in string T. So A, B, C, D, E, uh, all characters are, are one, right? And then after that, iterate through um, string S like one by one. And the first target character is A. So if we have A in hash map, so we subtract minus one from so one uh, A, so that is zero. And uh, one more important thing is that if we reach zero, so we don't need a, a air anymore, right? So after iterate through um, S string, so we can uh, we want to uh, only use the like a leftover of key. So that's why if we reach the zero, so delete A key from hash map, and then move next. So B, and we have B in hash map. So and uh, zero, and uh, so reach zero. So delete B. Also, um, next target is C, so C is now zero, and it is zero, so delete C. And uh, also, um, next target is D, so zero, and it is zero, so delete D. And uh, after that, um, we only have E in hash map, so all we have to do is just return this key. So very easy, right? Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, um, initialize a hash map. Let's say count. And then, so count each character in string T. So for C in T. And the key should be T equal, uh, not T, C, um, equal count dot get and uh, find the uh, C, uh, and uh, if we don't have a key, so default value is zero, and uh, every time um, plus one, right? And then after that, subtract counts from the characters in like a string S. So for C in S, and uh, count C minus equal one. And the uh, important thing is that, as I explained earlier, if count C, so reach zero. In that case, just delete count and C. And then after that, all we have to do is just return, so count dot keys. And uh, we need to convert to list. And then, um, return the like a fast key. Um, actually, we, we only have one key, right? So that's why we uh, definitely we can get uh, like an index zero. 
Yeah, so that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of s plus t. So s is a length of s, and t is a length of t. And the space complexity is a uh, order of t. So t is a length of t. So this is for hash map. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.